Hey YouTube Rando here. So those of you who are subbed up to uh, Texas Gear Reviews remember that we did a review on this uh, solar charger sometime back. It's a little battery bank. This is the XDS 10,000 uh, X Dragon 10,000 MAH solar battery bank. That's the full name for it. Uh, and I wanted to come over here and do some, we did some testing with it and I wanted to give you guys the results on what we got from it. And this is not testing it brand new out of the box. My nephew has had this thing for, I don't know, three or four months now he's been playing with it. Uh, so it's not brand new, so the batteries aren't brand new or anything like that. And it's still giving pretty good charges. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys uh, what we did with the test. and then. Uh, but before we start that, I'll give you a little bit of information on it, uh, just in case you didn't catch that uh, review. It is a 1.5 watt solar panel input. Uh, you know where you charge it is going to be 5 volt 1 amp it has two USB ports on it port 1 is a uh, 5 volt 1 amp port 2 is 5 volt 2.1 amp uh, it does have a little flashlight on it if you double click it uh, by the way this this thing always lights up like this even if it's just in the light, that's just kind of like a trickle charge. It keeps it charged. Um, and just the light in the room, not even the sunlight, just the light in the room will kind of keep it trickle charged to keep it, you know, topped off or whatever. Uh, the light on this thing, this is the only thing I haven't tested, but I have looked up some info on it. You're looking at about 60 plus hours on that light, so not too bad. Uh, Alright, so the first test we did, we were testing triple a, or double A batteries and a Samsung, uh, what is it, the S7 Edge. Uh, we topped off four double A batteries that were right around half dead. Uh, so if you, you know, look at that, pretty much we, we fully charged two double A batteries. That's about what we did with it. Uh, then the phone, we charged up 31%. It had a 69% charge, and uh, it charged it up, topped it off, and the bank still had uh, around 25% charge, so it still had uh, one bar on it, which that could mean it's only 15%, so take that with what you will. Uh, then we turned around, recharged this battery bank all the way up, and we were charging it, not solar charging it, although we did do a solar charge test as well. I'll give you those results in a minute. We charged it off of an actual USB charger. Uh, recharged it second test. Uh, we charged a large. Uh, the tablet I'm actually making this video with right now is a Samsung 10.1. Uh, it's, it's a big tablet. It's not a small tablet. And uh, we started with the tablet at 50%. Uh, it did not fast charge the Samsung, uh, the tablet, or the phone for that matter. It did a slow charge on the phone as well. And uh, so it didn't fast charge it, but it did give it nearly a full battery. Whenever this battery bank went completely dead, my tablet was at 98%. So it gave it a 48% boost. Uh, let's see. Solar charge uh, was a little bit difficult because it was a sunny day, but I did not uh, stay on top of it. So what I did is I just set it outside where I knew it was going to be sun all day, no shade. Uh, it was not direct sunlight for the majority of that time. You know, you may get an hour of direct sunlight. Uh, I never moved it. I just left it where it was, and it took all day right around. Uh, we set it outside at about 8 a.m., and I didn't bring it inside till the sun started going down. You know, it wasn't dark yet, but it was about 7 o'clock. Uh, so we did that for almost 12 hours, about 11 hours, and it did give it a full charge. Uh, but like I said, it was indirect sunlight. It was not... Uh, you know, it's not like I was out there positioning it to be in direct sunlight, you know what I mean? I just kind of set it on the table and left it uh, on the work table out, outside. So it charged from the sun. Uh, I think that if you did direct sunlight, you could probably get this thing to charge in four to six hours in the sun is what I would assume, uh, being that I just left it out there and didn't actually move it at all. Uh, it charged up pretty quick for what it was so it does the solar charger does work on it and if you just throw this thing into your uh, windowsill or even on your desk under your lamp or whatever uh, it does keep it topped off it keeps it keeps it like a trickle charge mode or something uh, it just keeps it to where it's completely full that way when you you know if i unplug this you'll see it's still charging 
Uh, now it is full right now. So you can see it has a full charge. If you click this button, it'll it'll tell you how much your charge is. But as soon as I take my hand off the solar panel, it begins that trickle charge again. That's one of the coolest things about this thing. Uh, it is a little cheap China battery bank, and usually those battery banks don't work very well. I'm very impressed with this one because uh, it took quite a bit of abuse. You can see it's not new. It's taken quite a bit of abuse from my nephew before I even got a hold of it for initial testing. I did a complete unboxing and review on it, and I told you guys I don't know if I'm going to be able to uh, test it out because he'll probably tear it up, but uh, he didn't tear it up too bad. I just wanted to show you guys it's not a brand new charger or bank, battery bank, so I think it's a pretty cool little charger, though, and I don't remember exactly what it cost, but I want to say it was right around 15 to 20, somewhere in that mark. Uh, so with the added solar panel, that's not bad at all. You know, that's not a bad price for a battery bank with a solar panel, 10,000 mAh anyways. Um, so yeah, we'll probably do an update on it. I'm going to use this for a little while now. He's going to let me use it, and I'm going to test it out, use it as a battery bank, just like kind of like we wanted to do with the uh, Unifun. Uh, but we're going to do it with this one now. So I'll come back and do an update soon. That's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching, YouTube.